Hello Aries, <laughs> welcome back, uh, welcome to your reading with me Jackie on Romany Tarot. So this is going to be your April reading. So first of all, happy birthday to any of you that have got birthday the end of March into April. Um, yeah, and before I start I'd just like to um, thank you, any of you that have subscribed, any of you that view my uh, readings, um, make you know, comments, shares, likes, anything like that. All right, I really do appreciate it. Thank you, Aries. Um, secondly, I'd just like to mention it's really important that you, it is really that you hit that uh, notification bell so then you'll be alerted when I put further readings up, all right? So future readings. Okay, so just looking at yours off the back, um, I've already pulled your oracle cards, Aries. So you do have, we are doing like past, present, future sort of layout here. And I'm pulling from the uh, your oracle cards from the LQ. And then we're going to be pulling a couple of cards from the Tarot of Mystical Moments and the Chakra Wisdom Tarot. All right. So your uh, oracle cards, I'll show them to you in a, just a few minutes. But uh, just off the back, you have uh, she, so it doesn't matter if you're male or female. So you have she who yearns, um, and then you have she who calms. A lot of signs have had this uh, she who calms, so it's about being very, uh, being in control, you know, sort of staying calm about things. So I've seen that with a lot of signs this month. And you have she who prepares. So firstly, you are, this is she who yearns, the first card is all about committing to your wants and needs, okay, but it's also that you're yearning for something, longing or pining for somebody, or you're yearning and longing for something, all right, and then you come into the set present energy, where you have to make time for yourself, you know, some maybe some space for yourself, some quiet time, because here we have stillness, purity and quiet, so this is about making time for yourself. And then we go into this uh, outcome future energy here with uh, she who prepares is about making plans. All right. So it's about formulating a plan, strategizing and um, devising. OK. So you want something, you're going to need time to think about it and then you're going to have to sort of make them plans. All right, so you're going to have to prepare and make plans for whatever it is that, that you really want. But we'll go into these a little bit more in just a minute. So like I said in the last reading, I wanted to look into Black Moon Lilith and what uh, what that moon's all about, you know. So I've done a little bit of research and uh, I can't, I've got my cue cards, of course. <laughs> so I was just asking that question, what is Black Moon Lilith about? So... In my research, I came up with Adam and Eve. So we're looking at, in the Bible, Adam and Eve and the Garden of Eden. So uh, she was considered a Shedom, which is a female demon, because she was banished from the Garden Garden of Eden for choosing not to obey Adam. As I said, things have changed since then, eh? <laughs> Adam wanted Eve, or Lilith, to be subservient to him, but she refused uh, Black Moon Lilith is the point of the moon called the lunar apogee that's furthest away from Earth. It's not a physical place, rather a point that donates our carnal desires and need for empowerment. So using intuition, strength and alchemy to unapologetically manifest greatness in our personal lives is the best way to create greatness and attain our goals. By fighting for independence and freedom, with Black Moon Lilith, we can reclaim, define and conceive the life we want, and more importantly, on our own terms. Lilith believes that no one should have to settle at the hands of patriarchy. She wants us to fight back by leaning into our shadow side and not compromising in any aspect of our life, especially our sex lives. Woohoo! <laughs> all right so yeah i thought i'd just read that and um 
just look into that and I was just looking at your placement here Aries with this black moon Lilith so Lilith in Aries wants to take the lead and initiate but your go get em nature can lead to arguments with others along the line if anyone that's if anyone stands in your way of course <laughs> there is no room for second place in any game all right so that's what that placement is is about for you guys i'm not saying that's going on now i just thought i'd just look into it you know and uh, see where that sort of plays out maybe in the reading all right you do have the number seven so we have this uh, analytical energy as well with this number seven so we're looking at maybe the the seven cards in the tarot you know seven of wands seven of swords that sort of thing um, and then we're looking at the number seven, so we could be looking at the uh, chariot as well. And um, yeah, the, the seventh house, the seventh, you know, the seventh planet, the seventh chakra. You know, we're looking at that number seven overall. So uh, the seven is the house of partners. So that's the seventh house. So it's the house of partnerships and your relationships. All right. One to one relationships personal or it could be personal or business on a business level all right uh just for some of you this is, isn't going to be for everyone so if he was born on the i'd say the 25th of march from the 25th of march um the 7th of april or the 16th of april all right so that you know it doesn't have to be that's not for everyone but maybe it might relate to you a little bit more if your birthdays fall on them days um number seven so we're looking at um the number of mystic mysticism so uh very uh mysterious listen to your intuition your talent is in your understanding the healing presence it's also the number of the loner the truth seeker the analyst all right so it covers all that and then we're looking at house of um did i say yeah house of neptune of course the seven the house of neptune the planet of imagination illusion glamour and escapism from mysticism again to the pain-free world of drugs and alcohol that's that's just covering what that planet is in all in all aspects your emotions of suffering and sacrifice be seductive and addictive, sensitive and vulnerable, receptive to others' moods and feelings. Uh, so we're looking at that seven as well. So we're looking at I relate with that seventh house. And we're also looking at the seventh chakra. So this is I know. So it's like you know how to, um, with these cards and these this number, it's like you know how to relate to a situation how to go about a situation you know what to do in in this uh with this quiet time here as well having time for yourself maybe to think about things to make these plans and pre prepare yourself for something going into the future all right so i don't know what that is only you know what that is all right aries so we look at the seventh chakra as well so it's your thought process your ideas your inspiration tapping into your consciousness so what happens in the mind will affect everything else in your life, of course. Your mind is the most powerful weapon. It can empower you or diminish you by how you think. So that's just a little, you know, little bit of information there about that, you know, about the seven and um, the cards in general and that Black Moon Lilith. All right, so there we go. So I'm going to get my little book. So I'm not reading from the book. I've took... Um, because I do believe I read all my books, as I said, with every other sign. Any tarot card deck I get, any oracle card, you know, books in general, I'm always reading. And I, I think it's very respectful for the creator of these books and cards. Um, the creator, the designer, the writer, you know, I think it's uh, I think it's only fair to see their energies when they're writing, you know, when they're doing their definitions of uh, these cards and stuff and these oracle cards. Okay, so enough rabbiting. <laughs> Let's get on with the reading. Okay, so like I said, your first position 
is uh, she who yearns. So this is about yearning for something, lo uh, longing for something, and you're pining for something in some way. So is this a person? Are you longing to be uh, with someone? Are you longing to, you know, sort of get out of a situation, be somewhere else? You know, whatever it is for you, Aries, okay? So it could be any situation. And I said my little cue cards here with this one. So we're looking at, are you stuck in the mode of pining for what you cannot reach? All right. So are you unsure of your yearning or wishful thinking? So this would be a time, especially with that uh, she who stays calm, you know, she who calms, is to take time to think about things and I, how you're going to proceed and, you know, move forward. So how far away is this thing that you long for? All right, I need to be uh, realistic. So that comes up again here. I need to be realistic. Um, yeah, so it's about having, what is it, attainable goals, something, whatever it is that you want. It's about being being realistic about it and not sort of being in that uh, energy of just, just wishful thinking or, or something like that, all right? Uh, yeah, so that's uh, interesting. So I'll just put that over there for now. Lovely card. But also, we have here, She Who Calms. All right, so this is about stillness, purity and quiet. So make time for yourself. That's the main message here of this card, is to make time for yourself and stay calm, maybe. Peaceful moments to yourself, calm companionship. Uh, someone you can confine in so somebody that uh, that you feel calm around somebody you can talk to so you don't want any chaos or anything chaotic going on around you your pursuit uh, your purest intentions your present calm your presence calms others as well so this could be someone else calming you you know being a calming influence and effect on you or vice versa all right so i feel this is uh, your energy i think you're just uh, playing is it playing it cool playing it safe here in a certain aspect of your life all right so that could be towards not just relationships it could be towards your work your home your family anything that that relates to and then here going in the uh, outcome position you have she who prepares so it's about this is formulate strategize and devise all right so this is uh, the main message here is about making plans so she who prepares is about making plans, preparation. Don't be rushed or rush yourself. And I see that there with that middle card here with the calm. You know, it's about taking your time and thinking about things, all right, Aries? So this is step by step, maybe taking one step at a time. Uh, maybe take on, because it does say as well here in this middle card, something about confining in somebody else so maybe take on somebody else's uh, view on things it doesn't mean to say that you have to follow their advice it just means to say that you get somebody else's point of view about something before you proceed you know with this uh, she who prepares you know taking uh, you know the plans that you're going to make take in taking action going into the future so uh, what's worked for you, maybe look at things as well, the things that have worked for you in the past. So I do see you yearning for something, maybe from the past, something to come back into your life or something that you really want to move towards. You have a different vision uh, about your life at the moment or about something in your life. All right, there is. So let's pull some cards. Have a look. So I'm just going to pull one first from the uh, Tarot of Mystical Moments. So we're just going to, let's just have a look at this position. So we're going to look at the past position. So let's see what you've been, what you've been yearning for or what you've been pining for. Okay. So let me just have a look. Right. Oh, 
Let's get the top one. High Priestess. Yeah, we're looking at this. Remember Black Moon Lilith. We're looking for that intuition. Uh, this is at the bottom. I just took it because it stayed there when I cut the cards. Um, yeah, intuition, gut, going by your gut feeling. Uh, something here is maybe drawing you to uh, this yearning. You know, you want something else in your life. You want something else here. You're looking forward to something else. But it's when you can, uh, it's the, what is it, ciphering whether your, your intuition or that gut feeling is telling you to not do something or to go for something, all right? I'll just put that aside. So let's see what else we have. Strength. <laughs> You've got the two cards now coming out from the Black Moon Lilith reading, you know, from the cards. Remember I said strength, intuition and alchemy. So it wouldn't surprise me if the temperance card doesn't come out. But also in a strength here, all right? It's about having that, uh, it's about willpower, patience, strength, compassion. Uh, the strength card covers like many things. But for this yearning, it's about you staying, uh, what can I say? Um, how can I put this? In, in whatever it is you're yearning for, whatever it is that you want, that I'd say that you're looking for, it's just about having patience as well here, you know, sort of taking your time and knowing that uh, whatever it is that you want will come to you in all good due course, in all due course, all right? Um, so you're longing for something, but you're keeping, you're being able to keep things under control as well with the strength cards. You, you how can I put this? Let me just go back a bit. Let me just slow down, Jack. Slow down. <laughs> I know what I want to say, but I just want to get it out before, I, you know, before it sort of passes, the thought passes. Yeah, so basically, you know, you really like, you want something and you're prepared, I think, to um, maybe wait as well, you know, to sort of wait for it. Although you have been thinking about this quite a while um you know i think you know deep down it's coming but it's whether you know it's if it's the right thing to do i don't know if this is making sense if it's the right thing to do or not but let's have a look so i won't shuffle those again so we're still pulling on the past position so let's pull a couple from the mystical moments tarot Let's have a look. That's what I wanted to say. It's that inner strength. Of course it is. It's that inner self, inner strength to have self-control about or over something. <coughs> this is about self-control. Is the one that fell out. Oh, wow, well, look at this strength again. So it's taken whatever it is that you that you want, that you really something you really want, Aries. It's it's taking you a lot of strength, you know, a lot of I'll say willpower or strength or self-control in some way, because you have this card twice. And it fell out. You see what it did. You know, you see it fall out. Um, wow. A lot of Leo energy as well for some of you. So I don't know if you're uh, connected strongly with a Leo. Maybe this is this uh, person you can confine in in some way. Especially, uh, remember what it said in She Who Calms. It's about being able to confine in someone. And the two of wands, yeah, so there is a choice, something you really want, all right, the two of wands is about, uh, of course, you've got something there, it's a crossroads, the two of wands can be a crossroads in your life where you think, you know, do I, what way do I go, do I go this way or that way, you know, what direction do I take, 
you know what direction you really want to go in, but you need that maybe that clarification or that maybe that just that little bit of extra support there to to make sure you're making the right decision about something. All right, so that's really nice. It's like you know what you want, but it's about going after what you want now, all right, with that two of uh, wands there. It's about going for what you really want. Um, of course, we're working from the uh, sacral chakra as well with that uh, orange. Remember the orange? Because this is the tarot, uh, the chakra tarot, wisdom, chakra wisdom tarot. So we're looking at that orange uh, colour there, which is the uh, sacral chakra. And uh, it's like you want, yeah, that, that's the theme there, I want. So you really want something, okay? Uh, it's about intimacy, affection, creativity, self-expression, emotional responses, maturity. And it's about looking after yourself. Remember what we had there, you know, take time, make time for yourself. Let me just pull those to one side. But yeah, so that covers all, all those uh areas as well so you it shows that you really really want something okay so let me just pull let me go into the uh, current position ten of pentacles all right um ten of pentacles yeah so this could be to do with the home for some of you uh you do have the ten of pentacles it's about your security your stability it, this is about um this can be about inheritances, legacies as well. So something to do with a uh, property here, because I do see that house there right in the middle of that. Uh, it's supposed to be a tree trunk there. You know, you get the circles in the tree trunk showing you how many years old it is. So uh, this is something that goes back um, maybe through a generation or whatever. You know, it could be longer, maybe one generation or two, but something that's been passed on to you, right? So this is something that's been passed on to you. Maybe there's uh, a choice that you need or something you want to do with, uh, this could be a property, this could be moving, you know, this generally could be, because it's it's coins as well, so we have to make pentacles. So this is to do maybe with your money, your security, your stability in some way. But we'll have another... We'll have a look at some more cards and see what comes out. So maybe thinking about your future. So you want something, but there's something you need to really, uh, you're contemplating on in some way. Yeah, <laughs> it's coming out. So, you know, with these cards, you've got the star. This is the wish, hopes, wishes and dreams. So something you're really hoping for. Um and it is, it's about following your own direction as well with the star card, you know, or needing, remember, needing some sort of direction. So you're really looking for that, um, maybe that clarification to say, you know, is this, is this the right thing I'm doing? Is, you know, is this the right decision I'm making about something? All right. Right, your next princess of wands. <laughs> That's your energy, your princess of wands. It's about, and it is next to the two of wands. So you're at that beginning stage here and you're working from the heart, the heart uh, chakra as well, because we've got the green. So this is um, the green. So this is the heart chakra I love. That's the motto, like I love. It's about love, compassion, harmony, unconditional self-acceptance of yourself and others. So maybe following your, your heart's desire, your, your your own heart about something here in some way. Um, okay, we're at the beginning here of this, uh, whatever this is, this journey or this situation, it's the start. So you're really going in the right direction here to, to start things, to initiate, remember, initiate something here. Okay, so let's just have a look at this outcome. Three of Cups, yeah, that's quite a uh, three of She who prepares, so uh, having some sort of um, support, I think, with the Three of Cups. This is, again, I said there's some, somebody here you're converse, conversing with, is that the word? Conversing with, talking to, maybe there's a couple of people, good friends. It's the card of friendship, 
the three of cups so um talking to others and making sure you're not because i see these circles making sure you're not going around in circles as well so uh this is about making a decision from your heart here in some way okay aries um uh, formulate strategize devise all right so it's about and we remember we've got an analytical so it's about analyzing something here with that number seven so input is good being able to talk to talk to others friends whoever it is family members um it's good to talk about something but it's also good to do what your heart tells you you know what you really feel passionate about because there's something here that you really want and what that is only you know that i don't know so we now we have the ten of wands all right so maybe uh i'd say because this is the uh solar plexus it's all to do with that intuition solar plexus is all about that um where are that second no it's the first no it's the third chakra there we go i'll get it right i can so you can do something it may be hard with the ten of wands it may feel hard it may f it might be just in you know as i say mentally hard where you you're feeling pressured uh mentally pressured here with the ten of wands and you're feeling probably feeling that you know can i do this can i manage you know this is the maybe the mental pressure that something is causing you. So, but you can do it. It's life force energy, the, the uh, third chakra. It's making plans. We have that. It's about making plans, all right? So you may have a lot to do as well, you know, with this, uh, whatever it is that you're moving towards. So there may be quite a bit on your plate that you may have to sort out, all right? Because that's where that ten of wands, it's not always, you know, Things can be a burden for us sometimes, but when we've got we've got support and help from uh, family and friends or you know whoever it is, we can do it, all right. And that enthusiasm, taking that initiative, initiating something, preparing. She who prepares, remember. So really good. So let's have a look. Let's have another card. Oh, the sun. Oh, you've got a lovely rating there. It's that's really nice. Of course, the sun, lovely energy, all right? So we're working here from the, um, I think this is the crown. So this is I know, of course it is, I know the crown chakra. Remember we have the, um, I already mentioned the number seven. So we've got the seventh chakra here, I think. I know, all right? So I know what to do. Uh, I know this is going to, this is going to work out. I know that I'm going to feel happier. And I'm going to feel in a better place with whatever this is that you've got to prepare for. All right. But um, I'll tell you, you're in that stage. You know what you want. It's about, you know, getting the ball rolling. Maybe getting the ball rolling here. All right. Aries about something. So, yeah, but something's happening. Something you really want. Something you're going to have to maybe take some time to think about. And then start preparing and start taking action on it. All right, Aries. So that was lovely. I like that. <laughs> so do whatever it is you do, whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is you're yearning for, longing for, whatever it is you're wishing for. You know, whatever it is you want to move towards. I do wish you all the best of luck on what what this could be. All right. And uh, yeah, don't forget hit that notification bell. That's very important so that you see further readings. All right, Aries, so good luck and uh, God bless. And I'll be back in a few weeks with your May, May readings. Okay. Okay, Aries, thank you for listening. Bye.